We're live at Oppenheimer Park in Vancouver's downtown east side. The six o'clock deadline for campers to pack up their tents and leave the park has just passed. But as you can see, some tents are still up here. Now, it's been pretty quiet in the park. We haven't seen many city officials. We've seen a couple of Vancouver police cars circling the park, but inside the camp itself, it's mainly just campers and their supporters. Roughly 200 people have been living in Oppenheimer Park in a camp that's been growing over the year. The Park Board General Manager delivered the eviction notice on Monday morning with the City Park Board and Fire Department all citing little compliance with safety orders. Since February, the city said says there have been 17 fires at Oppenheimer Park. The VPD says there's been a rise in violence at the camp recently. In July, there was a shooting just across the street. BC Housing has provided more than 100 units of accommodations for evicted campers, some of them being in single resident occupancy rooms and others in homeless shelters. Approximately 75 campers have agreed to move into those accommodations. Still, some are reluctant to leave. Uh, I don't plan on leaving anywhere today unless they give me a place to live, man. I don't care if they throw me in jail. One way they're going to house me, one way or the other they're going to house me. Whether it's in jail or it's in the park, I really don't give a darn. It's a hard transition, right, because you build a family here and you all look out for each other and then all of a sudden, bam, now you're by yourself. It's a little overwhelming, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, I am happy that, that something is being done. I just hope that... City Council and everything makes through on their promises and what they say they do. The Union Gospel Mission has been in touch with some of the homeless campers in Oppenheimer Park for the past year. With more campers than shelter spaces, many are worried they have nowhere to go. But the UGM is working to make more spaces available in its emergency shelter to help accommodate those in need. We've been full, we've been at capacity, we can make a few extra spaces available, um, and we're building those relationships. It's important because uh, people who have been in crisis, have been in without a home, are now going to lose the, the community that they've been a part of and the semblance of home that they've had for the past uh, few months in some cases. So it's going to be difficult. We're hopeful that the process will go as smoothly as possible, um, but we know it'll be tough. Outreach workers have been on site all week to help campers pack up their belongings. The park board is also offering storage for those who aren't able to move all of their things to their new housing units. Again, the deadline to leave the park was 6 o'clock. That just passed. But as you can see, there are still many tents up here, many people saying they're not going anywhere. Vancouver police are expected to be on scene today and into the night, but the park board has requested they do not remove campers. Instead, the park board will consider further legal action Action to enforce the eviction order and get the park cleared out and all of the campers out of the park. Live in Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.